Culinary Month, and it is a great time to celebrate those who have dedicated their lives and careers to creating delicious and innovative dishes for our community. Here with me is Chef Cass with just a simple tricks and some trades for the at-home chef. And we all love food, right? Absolutely. Food makes us happy. It keeps us going. I could go on and on about my favorite food. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's a lot of how I got to mm -hmm. be in the culinary industry. Just my passion for food. I uh, grew up with a grandma who is an amazing cook that's and so cool. really cultivated that in me. And so I'm here on behalf of Saffron Road today who makes um, great frozen meals and snacks. Mm -hmm. And I've prepared a uh, ginger Thai peanut noodle bowl for you. Great, um, I you, can't wait to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't wait to try it. Before we um, get into that, I just wanted to talk about um, how important it is because here in Las Vegas, obviously we have a huge union for culinary workers. Yes, for sure. um, but on top of that, just our culinary community, so big. We have some of the best restaurants. Mm. Um, any advice for, since we are celebrating Culinary Month, for people trying to get into the culinary world? And sure. because you, right now, you have your own business. Yeah, you I'm a private, private chef mm -hmm. and caterer. Um, you can find more at chefcast.com. Perfect. And I, I really took a, a long kind of winding route. Since a kid, I, I, I had my first job at McDonald's when I was like oh 14. Oh my gosh, great. <laughs> um, worked every job in the restaurant from dishwasher mm -hmm. to host. So really learning a lot. Uh, I went to school at uh, the Culinary Institute of America in New York. Okay. And if, if someone was interested in, in getting into the field, I would say just go get a job. Yeah. Don't worry about, okay, I have to master this or master that. Go actually make sure you like it as much as you think you do. Try to absorb that energy, right? I served yeah. in college, and you definitely have to absorb the energy of the restaurant world. It's, it's a different beast. Um, but speaking of food, we do want to try the yeah. wonderful stuff you brought in. You want to explain what this is? Sure. So one of the things that I like to do with food is I mm -hmm. like to have a, a lot of uh, flavor combinations. Mm -hmm. And what that's also going to do is create a, a different... Um, colors and contrast in yeah, the it's dish. Really pretty. So sweet, savory. Um, so I've got some pad thai noodles. Mm -hmm. um, basically, toss those in a, a peanut sauce that I made. Yeah. A little coconut milk. Um, then I've got some different veggies in here. We've got broccoli, mushrooms, butternut squash. Mm -hmm. um, I stir fried into that some ginger, mm -hmm. uh, some pickled ginger that you see on top. There's some sprouts on there. Black and um, white sesame mm -hmm. seeds. So that, that's a yeah. little bit, I, get, I don't think I can and say all this. <laughs> it looks so yummy because this normally would come in packaged like that. So this is, this is from scratch. Try. There are okay. recipes on the Saffron Road website. Um, but when you don't have time to make a full mm -hmm. dish, these are great replacements, especially if you want something a little bit more flavorful from around the world. That's what this company specializes in. Mm -hmm. um, because one of the mm -hmm. things that I focus on is nutritional food. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways to get really good tasting but still good for you food is to use a lot of different flavors. And, and sometimes so places from around the world, yeah. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. You can feel free <laughs> it's really go good. It. The ginger breakfast. in it, um, you can really try, right? Breakfast. Um, Pad Thai. This is so good. Um, but obviously, thank you so much for coming welcome, by. For sure. We love our culinary workers here in town, not only because they make us happy with all the food you guys make, but also because of everything you guys do. Uh, so thanks for coming by. I really You're appreciate it. And it that. is Culinary Arts mm -hmm. Month, so I know there's some tips out on the, oh, yeah. on the <laughs> screen there for you. I was just going to touch on braising. Okay. Braising, a lot of people aren't super familiar with. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cooking something with a dry heat first, um, searing on the outside, locking in the juices, mm -hmm. creating a, a color and flavor on the outside, and then submerging the liquid um, so that it slow cooks over time, gets really tender, falls apart. It's easier than, I don't know. <laughs> it's, you're making it sound easier than it actually practice. is, I think. <laughs> practice. practice. Thank you so much for Absolutely. coming by, Thank Chef. You. And stay Hope with us, you guys. Okay.